absent for a whole month. A whole month. Are you serious? I could not upload a single video just because of you. The viewers are pissed. You, everybody's pissed, man. I just hit 100,000 views and you know I cannot make a video about it just because of you, man. It's absurd. No, leave it. I'm finding a new camera, man. Just, just, just leave it. It's not. <sighs> All right, guys. So. I'm really sorry for not uploading videos. Um, I've been really busy with college and stuff. A lot of stuff. I have taken science, so I'm kind of busy with uh, compared to others. Uh, that's just one of what I want to do in life. I want to do something, uh, something good. <laughs> Still a long way to go, but I'm sorry for that. We are getting ahead of ourselves. In this video, we're gonna talk about Zonar. Uh, now, Asus is. Uh, it's one of my one of my favorite companies, just like uh, Sennheiser, Biodynamic. Uh, speaking of Biodynamic, that's a clue for our next unboxing video coming up real soon. Not real soon, about in a month. So just keep that in mind. If you if, you know if you subscribe to the channel, if you want to see what's gonna happen, my audio file headphone collection is just growing day by day. And this again is this uh, video is again based upon audio and audio files in general. Not audio files, but audio in general. So let's get on with it. Now Zonar is, is a line of uh, audio cards, sound cards with amps, DACs and stuff by ASUS. Now ASUS, uh, if, if you don't know, has been having a really, really good experience with uh, PCBs in general. They make one of the best motherboards in my opinion. I really, even my motherboard is Sabertooth X79, uh, that's ASUS. I like, I really like ASUS and I really think that their products are very well priced for what they are and they give a lot for the money. The Zonar is uh, dedicated for uh, audio in general. Uh, it's not like even ROG comes under Zonar. Uh, so you know, Zonar is a big segment of audio in ASUS's uh, uh, sector, which is quite nice in my opinion. Now I've divided the Zonar line of headphones in several parts. Now bear with me, I don't know every single model name, but I'm I'm gonna try my best to you know explain everything uh, the way I can because that's. Uh, that's gonna be really easy for everybody, and people are gonna love it. The D, the D, the D line of uh, the D. That is the D. You know, the D line of uh, audio products by uh, or sound cards by uh, by ASUS has been quite famous. That's the main. That that is how it really started. Uh, DX. That is the DX. Then the DGX. Then the what is that? The D. One second. Uh, the DGX and the the DG, those are one of the one of the one of the more common uh, cards by by ASUS and um, like they were mainly made you know made for gaming and stuff and less for uh, perceived audio, uh, audio for high fidelity audio. But they were still pretty good and pretty good value at that time. Still, even now you can get a D. I think I think a DG you can get for like thirty bucks. Gives you five point one. And uh, it's, it's not bad. It gives you a bit better audio than uh, your onboard audio. Uh, speaking of cheap uh, Zonar uh, products, I'm going to come to another one, but that's in a different uh, sector. As I said, the D series consists of these audio cards mainly for gaming, because the, in 2008, I believe the Zonar real, the, the Zonar family was born, and the DG X, I believe, or the DG was the first uh, uh, sound card ever made. Uh, they used uh, I believe everything was made by ASUS except I think the amp was by Texas Instruments. I, if I, I could be wrong, I don't think I'm wrong, but still, uh, Texas Instruments mainly provides all the op amps and stuff to ASUS for their uh, sound guards and stuff, which is quite nice. Texas Instruments, again, really good stuff. Uh, they used Burr Brown DAX in you know audio file cards, which I'm gonna come up uh, uh, come to in a, in a second or something. So the DG line uh, line is that, and it consists of those things. Then in 2009, the ST or the STX or the S family had begun. The S is my favorite. The ST, the STX, and a new one, the STU, are one of my favorite amps, and I can recommend those amps to anybody. They make one of the best solid state amps at, for the price. The STX, which I'm having, uh, believe it or not, performs exceptionally well and it's it could it could be ranked as a 300 to 400 dollar or 500 dollar amp solid state amplifier because the transparency in the mids is absolutely phenomenal the bass extension is pretty good for the price overall i think the 
the Essence SDX is a stellar deal and you just cannot go wrong with it. The uh, there is a bit of difference between the ST and the STX uh, because of the circuitry because it uses PCI uh, E that is PCI Express and that's normal PCI 1X slot. The 1X slot gives you a longer bandwidth and the power consumption is about the same. They say that the that the that, that there is a bit of tightness in the treble. I don't believe it because uh, I don't think that makes that much of a big difference. Damp it depends upon the headphone, the damping factor, but not the amplifier itself. I could be wrong. I have not tried the ST. But in my opinion, the the difference you know should be very less, uh, very far away from being audible. Uh, there there are some tonal differences, obviously, and uh, frequency dis uh, differences, but that's not a really big di uh, you know breaking factor between those two. The STU uh, in the screen, as you can as you, as you guys can see. Uh, by the way, you can see everything in the screen uh, whenever I'm talking about it. The STU is a new addition to the S the S series or the S family. The STU just launched in 2012, I believe, and you know it is mainly targeting towards uh, budget audio files. It goes for around 300, 350 bucks. Uh, it uses a similar uh, layout as the ST and STX, similar sound signature as whole, but it's in, it's in a it's in a non PCI format. It's in USB format, so you get 24192. Uh, you get a great amp. You get a Burr Brown DAC. You get swappable op amps by uh, Texas Instruments, and you'll be good to go. I have also uh, in the, in the link, link in the description there will be a uh, op amp section where you can go to HeadFi and check out uh, the differences in uh, tonal and uh, tonal sounds and uh, audible sounds uh, when you you know swap out op amps and you can you can refer through that it, it, it applies for the ST STX and I believe the STU also but I could be wrong because the STU has a similar layout not a big difference in general. But that is the STU in the screen. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks quite nice, quite good, and it's just 300 to 400 bucks. Oh my God, that's cheap, really, like literally. That's great because there are very few uh, amps you can get. You can get a shit audio. You get the the Walla, which is 350. The 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 Manji is 100 bucks, but no comparison with the Manji. The the Walla is at you. But for solid state, you just get you know the ST, STX and the STU because those are the one of the one of the best choices, in my opinion. Which brings us to the ROG lineup. The ROG with Zonar has been quite limited at least till now. There is only one, the Phoebus. If you, you guys know that, the Phoebus is quite feature rich. It had it had that knob uh, and everything. I just forgot the name, but it, it was pretty good. I do it, it used the same DAC as the Essence STX. The amp was different. Uh, it had 7.1 uh, channel audio, uh, and that was not that was like real, uh, you know, optical audio, not digital, which is quite nice. The STX has digital, but that was optical, which is quite nice in my opinion. The, the I'm not a big fan of the Phoebus line uh, because I find creative to make better bang for the bucks compared to ASUS for gaming, but for audio, ASUS, no, no debate. But that's the ROG lineup, which came in I believe 20. Uh, 2010, I, I think 2010, uh, 10, uh, end or fall, uh, if you will, but that's the time it came and quite nice. Then we come to the, to a really nice, to a relatively new section of uh, audio by ASUS, the U. The U consists of the U3 and the U7. The U3, as you can see in the screen, is quite small and it is supposedly a better, better buy. Uh, for anybody who wants better audio from their from their uh, from their computers, laptops, whatnot, it gives you a better uh, a better amp than your uh, onboard audio. Uh, it gives you a better DAC. I think it's 24. It's 16 bit. 16 bit. Uh, I think it's 16 bit or 2496, not 192. I could be wrong, but you know you can you can check the check the links in the description and you get more details about it. But the but the U3 is a is quite fantastic uh, amplifier for the money. It goes for around 50 bucks in India. It's about 2,500 rupees uh, or less. You can get for less, or you can get a better audio for just 2,500 rupees. The value of 2,500 rupees nowadays is nothing, but so that's a good value in my opinion. So the U3 again, go check it out. You are gonna love it. Which brings us to U7. The U7 is kind of latest addition to the to the Zonar lineup. Uh, it's uh, having a DAC, 24192, 7.1 channel audio, plus a headphone amplifier. Uh, the headphone amp is uh, supposedly a midsection between the ST and the U3, the STX, ST, and the U3. 
I have not tried the USAN because it's a relatively new product in the market, just like the STU, but it surely is quite intriguing. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Apogee Duet with the, with the knob on the top. You can see in the screen again. Uh, uh, so I really do like it. The U7 again is a, is a really, really nice uh, way to go. So Zonar line by ASUS has been a quite, quite, quite a line in my opinion. They make one of the one of the only cards which really deliver good audio for the price. Uh, the Zonar Essence is uh, the lineup is the STX, ST, and uh, the STU a phenomenal value if you if if people say that the stx is a bad value those people are crazy they don't know what high fidelity is it's it's really really good there's just no debate i don't know how someone cannot like it it's very good for the price unbeatable close to unbeatable not even close it's unbeatable you, you cannot find a better value in my opinion so as i said i think zonar lines are very nice very good value for the money I have a lot of respect and uh, as I was saying that they can drive like the ST, STX can have 600 ohm headphones, planar magnetic headphones like the 400s, the 500s, the Hi-Fi Man, HE, 500s, 400s, um, that's a, those are orthodynamic planar magnetics, uh, fast XT50 RPs, then uh, I have also tried recently the Odyssey LCD2, uh, the Odyssey LCD3, those probably work without any problem, the LCD2s worked relatively good but still they you know they need a bit a bit more thump in the audio and uh, but for normal dynamic headphones these are great really good really good value get them you'll be really happy the stx and the st and the stu for for as a matter of fact they are one of my favorite products of the zonar lineup anyways that kind of concludes the video i hope you enjoyed the how did it evolve episode four um Sorry for not uploading videos, as I said again, uh, I'll try to be more frequent, I just have to find more time because uh, these are time consuming as you know, uh, thinking, just remembering stuff and just rambling stuff, <laughs> it's different. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, as I said, the next video, probably next or after that, I don't know, depends upon my mood, is gonna be of a biodynamic product, that's gonna come real soon, um, shipping is gonna take a while but if you guys, uh, if you guys can guess what it is, I'll be, I'll be happy to know in the comment section down below. So thank you for watching, and I uh, will probably see you next time.